Uh, hey guys, just uh, wanted to make a quick video of this setup because I think I got it just about perfected uh, and wanted to share. So I recently bought this, you know, cheap little Logitech mouse for MMOs. It's got 12 buttons on the side. It's got another button here that you can click and then it kind of is a little shift button that adds more functionality to these buttons. Um, and then just two more on top. So um, I'm reading through Summer Pockets and using text hooking to um, be able to add Anki cards from Vocab I Don't Know. Uh, if you don't, if you haven't heard of this, uh, look it up. Uh, maybe I'll make a video about my setup. But um, just using an old Windows computer that I st stole from my parents' house. Not really stole, but... Uh, took from my parents' house. So you got my VN, got the text hooking app here, or a little website, and then my card list from Anki here. So I'll just run through this real quick. Don't want this to be too long. Um, so let's just say I don't know this word. If I hold down on the middle mouse button, then it opens up Yomi-chan. Um, so, okay, I want to make a card out of this. I press plus. Here, I'll show both. Uh, I'll press the plus button, which adds it to Anki. Uh, I press the... F uh, when I say one, I'll say... Uh, or I'm talking about these buttons on the side here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, etc. So I'll press one, which switches back to the VN. Press two which takes a screenshot and copies it to the clipboard. Then I press three, that switches over, it's a little macro, switches to Anki uh, and refreshes this list, which means I have it pressing up, enter, which opens up the top, uh, top thing here. Then press down and enter, which opens up this. So it refreshes this list and then it has the this newest card on top. Um, and then I just come in here, click on picture, then I press four, so it's all just in a row, four. It adds the picture from the clipboard. I press five, it switches back to the VN. I press, uh, and I have six setting, or set to take a re voice recording of the current window. And so I press six, wait for that to start recording. I click the voice. I press 6 again to stop the recording. I press 7, press 7 down here to switch back to Anki, click in here, press 8 to paste that audio, and then I press 9 to switch back. So let me do that a little bit quicker here just so you can see. Um, all right, let's just say I don't know Tabemono, so I'm going to, you know, pull up the Yomi-chan, click this. Click over, screenshot, over again, it refreshes the page, click in picture, four, switch back. Uh, switch back. And then there we go. It's a little slow, uh, still getting used to this layout, but I just have it where you click one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it will create that card. Um, hopefully you guys found this useful. Uh, I can make a more in-depth video or show my setup, but I think this is the Logitech G600. It's about 30 bucks on Amazon, I think. Maybe I'll have a link in the description. Um, highly recommend it. It's pretty cheap, but uh, I mean, doesn't feel cheap. The price is cheap. And yeah, let's get this. Oh yeah, I also wanted to show the card layout. So I'm just, I have this in a preview. Here's that card that we just made. So it's Tabemono up there on the back side. So it has that screenshot that we took. It has the audio that plays after the Yomi-chan audio. Um, it has these pronunciation guides. The furigana up top, and then any kanji that you mouse over, it shows some info if you're on desktop. Um, but yeah, I really like this setup, and 
I feel like making high quality cards is kind of an exciting thing and makes me want to do my reviews. Um, and then it's fun seeing the context of, you know, oh, Tabe Mono, oh, I remember that from, you know, when she was hungry, etc. Um, so, yep, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope this helps.